Hey guys and gals, this is Sinagero with a replay sent in from Extreme Unicorn Warfare in the tier 10 Japanese medium tank, the STB-1. And uh, I guess we're going to see how well this thing performs. Do I have a... okay, no, okay. I thought I had free camera on and was just looking in a weird direction, but uh, here we go. Good gun depression, the turret looks pretty bouncy, but I'm not sure... Actually, I'm not sure where uh, Unicorn Warfare is taking a look at. Here's a Skoda T50. Seems to be a similar vehicle. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that was a pretty nice shot. Calling for a little help. It doesn't look like... Actually, no. It's got a decent amount. They're just not really moving forward. Centurion 71 and a Type 61 over there. But let's see what. Oh, a T10, T54 E1, which could potentially do a lot of damage if uh, get some nice shots in. But. Ooh. There we go, using that nice gun depression of the STB 1. No artillery, so don't have to really worry about uh, sitting in this spot for too long. Unless, of course, uh, a flank starts happening. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Do a little damage versus a tier 9 heavy tank. There we go, straight through the side armor. Even at this angle, it seems to be penetrating. And the T71. <laughs> there he goes, not sure what he was doing over here. <clears throat> you should know that there are enemies right here. Ooh. Large shot from the T10. Uh, it didn't do even an average amount of damage, but it's still pretty powerful. Also taking out the gunner, so that's not good. I'm trying to go for a weak point there. Didn't make it. I suppose the accuracy on the STB-1 isn't excellent. But it has a really good rate of fire. At least that's what I hear. And that's what I'm seeing so far. And the penetration is really nice as well. Let's just... Where is the mops? 258 millimeters of penetration, and these two are on very low health. There we go. <laughs> Here comes a tortoise. Might be a little late to the party, and he's going to be flanked by uh, a lot of very powerful medium tanks. Oh, okay. Well, there's no. <laughs> he doesn't have much health left. In any case. T30 and a T95, two tier 9 American tank destroyers left, also very large cannon, 750 alpha damage. Uh, however, there is only a single leopard prototype defending the base. Oh, and it's gone. <clears throat> so we'll see how uh, Unicorn Warfare over here deals with the Massive guns of these two tank destroyers. Staying in this spot probably isn't going to do it, and the T95. Uh, not very easy to penetrate at this distance. Actually, <laughs> the T30, I don't know what he was doing over there, but. Uh, he took it a Type 61, unfortunately, he did take a shot at the side, and that shot did no damage, critical damage to the tracks, I suppose. Okay. Oh, going for that weak point, if he can make it. Yes, he can! <clears throat> But the T95 is most likely ready for another shot, so 
in a common warfare is just poking yourself. Uh, although, going in the same direction as the 5041, probably not a great idea. Uh, maybe he's going back to base, actually. Who knows? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, he's telling the uh, 5041 to go back with him. The tortoise and what else is left? An AMX-30 probably going to be having a little bit of trouble. Maybe not. <laughs> they did just successfully defend the base so far. as an M46 patent that is uh, unaccounted for. Yeah, those two uh, remaining vehicles closer to the cap are on uh, one-shot distance, depending on who's shooting. Uh, but it's really just the M46 pattern that cannot kill the MX-30 in one shot. Everything else has huge alpha damage. <laughs> and there's three tank destroyers sitting over there. Object 704, pretty stealthy. So this is actually a pretty big risk. Oh, and he gets spotted as well. And it's the... what is spotted on the object? Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> uh, I guess he's going to be hunting the Patton first. There he is, 15 health. Aha, that's why he was hiding this entire time. Ooh, took a big hit though. That's not good. He is now... Uh, incredibly easy to one-shot. All the... Uh, uh, there's three enemy vehicles that all uh, that have to just um, roll slightly high, and then the 183 just has to actually aim and then destroy whatever's left in front of them. <clears throat> they managed to catch the 183 with one shot into the side. Unfortunately, uh, disappeared from view. Oh. Yeah, it's still a thousand health. So unless, uh... Okay, yeah, they're taking some shots in the T-30. Not a very good shot, but... Uh, no, he didn't make it. The tortoise is going to be having a little bit of trouble. So is this Object 140 getting shots into the side. And if he rolls high for this last shot, he should be able to take care of the 704. Now, what is happening? The T-30 and the 183 were spotted on the uh, eastern flank, 704 in the middle, and the T-95, even if it started moving immediately after it was unspotted, uh, wouldn't be too close to this area. So maybe, since this is uh, four tank destroyers, the STB-1 will have better view range and should be able to spot them before it gets spotted itself. There's the T-30. Uh, just misses chance, unfortunately. And if the T-30 had any sixth sense, then... Oh, wow. Somebody on the cap. That is unspotted. Oh, there they are. Get rid of the 183 first. No! <laughs> oh, it's aiming. And missed. Okay. And a bounce as well from... Uh, Object. Go. Oh, did not roll uh, well enough. But if you can sneak off a shot, there we go. That's good. T30 and the T95 left. T95 will probably be the hardest if it catches uh, a unicorn warfare unawares. But fairly easy to outflank especially in this kind of terrain. Now, where is that T-30? There he is! Oh, back off! <laughs> Good thing these are all uh, pretty slow aiming cannons. I'm just expecting to see a T-95 crawling its way over on this side. Maybe not, or maybe it's just 
way slower than I expected it should be. But coming around to outflank a T30 on this side of the hills is actually fairly uh, dangerous because the C95 could be anywhere and aiming in this position. So he's getting out of there as fast as possible, putting as much terrain in between uh, where he expects the T95 to be. And now back to the waiting game, I guess. Already uh, 5,757 damage done. And he's still got six uh, APCR shells left, the regular rounds, of course, and the tier 10. There's the T95, he gets spotted. And now time for uh, getting up close and personal, I suppose. Oh, okay. T95 seems to have six cents, unless... No, yeah. STB-1 didn't get spotted. Where is he? Looking in the wrong direction. Ooh. Hopefully should have kept going. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, that was a miss. Now he's clear for a few seconds at least to get behind the S uh, bleh, the T95. Doing a bit of flanking maneuvers. Trying to track the T95. This is not good. Track him quick. Rate of fire. No! Oh, 14 health left. Woo. But now he's up close. Oh, he didn't track him. Don't touch him at all. 14 health is real. Oh no, what's he doing? Ooh. Just squeezed through there. Ah, there we go. Nope, he's still got a repair kit. <laughs> but it's really hard to turn around in the T95. Especially on soft terrain. And it doesn't look like he's got a super repair kit. And, uh... Looks like Extreme Unicorn Warfare is out of regular rounds. We're gonna fire heat now. And it seems to be doing just great versus these tracks and also doing damage as well. There we go. Good job. 7,000 damage. Over 7,000 damage there. And uh, that's the end of the game.